Chess friends, how are you? Magnus Carlsen is a world's top rated player and he played some practice games with me, I will show you the one of the remarkable game between Magnus Carlsen and Stockfish, so, let's go, Magnus started with e4, we have c5 Sicilian defense, Magnus played c3 Alapin variation, e6, d4 d5, I have a great pawn position in dc square, e5, we have knight c6, putting pressure over these pawns and queen b6 is coming to put pressure on there and this file. The knight will also re-rotate himself to attack on center pawn structure, knight f3 by magnus knight e7, this blocks the c5 pawn protection, but don't worry, I have an amazing counterplay on there to attack both of these pawns, so bishop d3 c takes d4 c takes d4, knight f5 to target this pawn with two pieces, if you try to save it by bishop e3 then queen b6 will touch your weak points of your position, that's why Magnus takes the knight, e takes f5. These pawns looks like stupid but they have their attitude brother, we have knight c3 bishop to e6, castle bishop e7, my plan is to push my kingside pawns to attack to the knight and my pawns will be maintained by my bishop pair with queen, light bishop is also there to create some possible threats, and you know what what is the best move in this position? Best move is to retreat the knight on e1 to prepare for f4 to protect these squares from any incoming attacks, but here we have bishop e3 worn move, he didn't find the best move so I get a chance to play g5, g4 f4 is possible threats with h5, I started attacks on kingside, here best move is to play g3, let me show you the variation, to weakening these squares, actually it protects the f4 square, so what you will play? g4 will not work because of knight e1, what now? h5, h4 is coming, white will completely ignore it by rook c1, h4 knight d3, what now? Where is the attack? h takes g3 and after pawn takes pawn, white is completely fine and black have no attacks on there, but in our actual game, Magnus played h3. He thought I would play g4, no fool, it's not my plan, my plan is to play f4 to push my pawn, bishop d2 rook c8 queen up to b3 queen to d7, g4 h5 is coming to strike kingside, so rook c1, h5 threatening to play g4 to open up the position, knight b5, g4 knight back to e1, to target the pawn on f4, g takes h3, if you take the pawn, let me show you the variation, the king will be exposed and after bishop takes h3 the rook will be trapped, bishop takes f4, we will play rook g8 check, bishop g3 bishop takes rook king takes f1 queen h3 check king e2 h4 and that's it, position will be very bad for white, and he will lose the game, so back to the position, we have bishop takes f4 h takes g2 knight takes g2, rook g8 to pin the knight, now threatening to play bishop h3 to grab the g2 knight, so king upended with king h2, knight a5 leads to a rook exchange on c8, queen takes c8, the queen is targeted by the knight and here best move is to play queen d3, to prepare for rook c1 with bishop, and protecting the third with a queen d3 position, but here drunk Magnus played knight d6 to fork the king and queen, he didn't show the bishop that bishop can take the knight, and if you take the bishop with pawn then you will simply lose your queen, so in this position, we have queen b5 check first, bishop d7 queen takes a5, here I sacrificed my rook, rook takes g2, ok after king takes g2 we have bishop h3 check king h2, bishop takes f1. If you take the bishop then queen h3 check will come to checkmate you in two moves, so here we have queen takes d5 to protect the diagonal, white is just in time, protects the g2 square, bishop d3, I completely ignored my dark square bishop because of queen f1 check, let me show you the variation, it's better to tell you, takes here queen takes f2 king h1 queen check again then queen takes bishop, I will get an extra piece and white is completely losing here, so back to the position, we have bishop g3, bishop e7, threatening to play queen f1 and h4, queen takes b7, h4, if you try to save the bishop, for example bishop f4, then queen f1 check king h2 queen takes f2 and after some moves later we will win the bishop, black will get extra 2 bishops, that's enough to win the game, and chess friends, if you want to become like me and defeat Magnus Carlsen, 
then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I share my tactics and strategies knowledge by making YouTube videos. Magnus Carlsen resigned the game and we played some more practice games, so let's see how the game will be end. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.